Hello everyone, my name is Omid Abdelrahman and today I'm gonna do a very short uh, video about uh, using Qt Grace. Uh, the Qt Grace is just a plotting program and um, many of the uh, plots generated by, um, uh, or let's say many of the data uh, generated by uh, EGS uh, uh, when they're generated in a plotting format, they are generated in a file that is uh, compatible uh, with the Qt Grace uh, format. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to use Qt Grace for uh, Windows since uh, many of uh, uh, EGS users on Windows, uh, they struggle on, on using Qt Grace uh, to open these files. I personally use uh, Excel. Uh, so I import the data from these files and in Excel where I have um, control uh, well maybe Qt Grace has more capabilities than Excel for plotting but uh, I'm familiar with Excel so I just import them in Excel and generate or, or make the plots there so uh, let's go and run one of our uh, simulations uh, this is the, my last video I ran a uh, the example file for the 16 MB uh, photon beam. So I'm going to run it now on Windows. Um, and uh, okay, we need to load the input file and then we will load the 700 ISRU PEX data file. Just one thing uh, I will do, I will. Uh, modify this I will increase the number of particles and uh, let's save the input parameters save the file and execute so now the simulation finished we will close this and open BMDP uh, since I want to generate a spectrum uh, for the photon particles. So we will uh, go to derive a spectral distribution from phase space data and we're going to select photons. <coughs> I'm going to put this as minus 100. It's just defining the area from which to analyze. Uh, uh, the particles in the phase space file and the bins I'm going to put it at 200 so the 0 and I think maximum 16 so just I'm going to put 20 uh, in EV no latch and now it's the time to select the, the, uh, the phase space file and we're going to generate a spectral file okay I will put a GR extension uh, for it but it, it's not necessary okay and then select point graph fluence type estimate real fluence and we're going to execute override since I already have done this and uh, with Linux users uh, when they run uh, this application from uh, BeamDP it will automatically launch uh, uh, Grace with the plot but for windows it does not do that uh, i think there is a way to to configure uh, uh, the paths in, in uh, for windows so that it will recognize agr files uh, will be launched with that application uh, but not i'm not really uh, i don't know really how to do that uh, so anyway if you face the same problem that's fine so we're closing the beam uh, dp and let's go and look into our x uh, so this is uh, we'll go to our uh, i'll go to my home area EGS home and that's the folder for the linux and there should be a file this is the file a spectrum agr so let's look at this file and go open with it's a text file 
so we can look at uh, we can open it with any text editor I'm going to select wordpad so this is the file uh, these lines basically define what's the title of the graph and the x-axis uh, legend and uh, size and, and so on uh, uh, but this is the data so this is the data this is the energy bills for example this is the value and the third column is the uh, uncertainty on that uh, value uh, and uh, those, I mean if you're using Excel you just need to import these columns uh, in Excel and then do the plot but suppose we actually want to uh, launch uh, or, or view this in uh, uh, Qt case so I'll close this I happen uh, to have a, a, a shortcut to Qt Grace, but uh, if you don't have this, uh, it's it's under uh, program. So if you go to C program files, uh, it should be here Qt Grace version V026, and maybe you have a later update. And this is the executable file, I think. Uh, yeah. So uh, Qt, okay. Yes, so if I double click on this one, so if you go to that folder, you'll find there are subfolders. Go to the bin folder, and there we should you should find the Qt Grace executable application file. You can create a shortcut. Uh, for this file uh, on the desktop and this is what I have done here so we can go back to uh, our home area and uh, the simplest way to uh, open the file is just to drag the file into uh, the shortcut so the spectrum and I'll just drag it on top of the shortcut and there it is. So it opened the application, Qt Grace, and immediately plotted uh, the spectrum. Okay. Now you can play with the Qt Grace and change the format of the axis and so on. I think also you can change the colors. Uh, I'm not really good at that. I prefer to use Excel uh, to generate my plots, but uh, I believe it's doable now with Qt Grace. So I hope this short video uh, has uh, demonstrated uh, to you how to use uh, Qt Grace to open uh, plots generated uh, by uh, EGS uh, NRC. Uh, this uh, method will work even for PDD plots when, when generated with those RZ or uh, those XYZ uh, NRC. So until uh, next time, uh, and uh, please give me a feedback uh, write in the comments if you have a request on how to do something this will inspire me to generate uh, videos thank you very much <laughs>